Hey guys, we're in the shop today showing you how to rebuild the top end on the Sherco 250 and 300 two strokes. And right now we're gonna clean up our power valve. So if you need to know how to do this, stick around, we'll show you how. So we're gonna start by completely disassembling the power valve. Now these Shercos have a pretty simple design, which is great. And as you take everything apart, you wanna lay everything out in order on the bench. Once you have everything disassembled, you just need to get it cleaned up. So we're gonna scrape these gaskets just like you would do for anything else. And then to get some of the carbon off, sometimes a little contact cleaner and a rag will work, but you might have to use something stronger like some oven cleaner. But if you use that, you don't wanna leave it on for more than 20 minutes because it could damage your parts. So get it on there, but get it completely washed off and that should help take away some of that carbon. Now that we have everything cleaned up, you just wanna do a visual inspection for any wear. So all this stuff, it should be smooth. You don't wanna find any scratches or grooves worn into these. So if you find any grooves worn on these parts, then you need to get them replaced. So these are looking good. We're also gonna look down the barrel of the cylinder. Not smooth in there, no visible damage. So we're good to get this reassembled. Now, before we install anything, I'm just gonna put a light penetrating oil on these parts. The other thing you wanna check for is that these bearings rotate freely and you don't feel excessive play in them. So now we can set the valve into place. We're gonna install this booster. That's the one without the tab on this side. And keep in mind that slot, that's gonna be facing towards the back of the cylinder. And we can install that circlip. We're gonna install the first valve shaft. Once you have that in place, you're gonna put the second one, you're going through the valve again, or through that slot in the valve, and then to the booster. You can rotate that booster to make sure it goes in place. And I'm gonna rotate that booster, just verify everything works. Now we can install the other booster, and I just wanna point out that groove where the set screw is actually gonna sit into once this is in place. I'm just gonna rotate that through the range of motion, make sure everything rotates freely, which it does. Now we can install the set screw. and We've got that copper washer on there. This just gets torqued to four Newton meters. Now I'm gonna lube up this O-ring and we're gonna put it in the flange support. And we're gonna install the gasket, a copper washer onto the longer of the two We'll set that in place. The longer one goes in front. These get torqued to 10 Newton meters. Now we can install the top cover with our new gasket. And we're gonna torque the bolts to five Newton meters. And that's all it takes to get your power valve cleaned out and rebuilt on your Sherco 250 or 300 two-stroke dirt bike. If you have any questions about that, leave those down in the comments below. And if you need any parts for your bike, Pick those up on our website. Now for us, we're gonna get ready to put this cylinder back on the bike and get our top end together. So if you need to know how to do that, go follow us over to that other video and make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.